Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Mustache MMA. Welcome to episode 12.1 of The Breakdown, UFC Fight Night, Luke Gay versus Mohamed 2. There was a withdrawal in one of the bouts on this card in Ilazu Zaleski. He withdrew from his bout against the Munir Lazuez. Replacing him will be Angelusa on about four days' notice, making his UFC debut. I'm going to go ahead and break this bout down, both of the fighters, and give an official prediction. So I'm just going to bring up the little topology jaunt here. And here we go. So what's the weight fight here? Um, breaking down Manir Lazuez uh, real quick. Really good movement on the feet. Good diverse striking. Has a really good knee that he throws up the middle to the body. Um, seems to hit a lot, at least in his previous fights that I've seen. He's got solid power in his hands as well. Elbows that he throws. High volume, high pace type striker. Um, also a, a little diverse as well. He's got good takedowns, good top control. Uh, he has nice transitions to, you know, get into more dominant positions like side control or full mount. Uh, not necessarily a sub threat though. He doesn't have those type of grappling skills, but more of a transitioning grappling skills, if you will, and control grappling skills. Um, good takedown defense as well. And, and if he does get taken down, he's, he's pretty quick to get back up to his feet and hard to control down there as well. Um, on top of that, he's got a really great chin, super tough, super durable, and, and really good cardio. He puts on that high pace pressure for, you know, a, a solid three rounds. Um, but I, I will say he definitely does, definitely does slow down a bit in that third round, like most fighters do, um, and, and looks to maybe lean more on that wrestling, getting the takedown and, and holding a uh, position on the ground if he needs to, to, um, to recover or, or win points or, or minutes or whatever you will, will say. Um, his last time out, he did get um, TKO'd um, due to body shots against Worley Alves. Uh, Worley Alves threw like three straight body shots, just dropped him. Um, I don't know if he broke a rib or if it was a direct shot to the liver, uh, but nevertheless, it, it dropped him, finished him. So TKO that way. Um, but, you know, Chin is durable and good in terms of him getting hit in the face. He got destroyed in one of his fights against... Um, um, uh, forgetting his name, um, Al Hassan, who's got huge power, and he was able to eat all those shots to the chin. Um, so I don't take too much um, weight to that TKO because it was more of body shots, not to the chin. Um, going to Angelusa again, his UFC debut here on very short notice, four days. Uh, based on what I've seen, he's got decent technical striking skills, decent power as well. Um, striking defense is, is actually pretty solid as well. And uh, good shin, tough, durable guy as well. He fought actually Jack Della Maddalena, who I'm very high on in the contender series, was able to take him to the distance. Now, he did win or uh, lose all three rounds. However, I did feel like the fight was like somewhat competitive although it was definitely clear rounds for Della Maddalena each, each round. But I, I thought Lusa got into some pretty decent spots for himself and landed some pretty good strikes and also showed some pretty good striking defense as well, although he did get pretty lit up by Maddalena because um, he was throwing a ton of volume. But Maddalena is a finisher, and, and he was able to survive, so it just kind of shows the toughness that he has. Um Angelusa as well, he, he throws pretty good volume, um, good cardio, decent takedowns himself. Not necessarily the best top control, though, um, but he does have the ability to change levels and, and take it to the ground if he needs to. Uh, one thing that I think he does struggle with is pressure. We saw that in the Della Maddalena fight where Maddalena was constantly kind of moving forward, pushing him back um, and just throwing volume and volume and volume which Angelusa just struggled, struggled with a bit because um, I believe one of the commentators mentioned, and I agree with it, is Angelusa kind of needs to reset in order to strike. He can't necessarily um, strike well off the back foot. Um, obviously, he can, you know, anybody can, but does he, do they do it well is the question. And Angelusa, you know, he doesn't do it terribly, but um, he, he doesn't necessarily excel in that area which is why i think he struggles with that pressure pressure forward that um some guys may put on him 
So yeah, official prediction here. I'm going to go with Manir Lazuev. Uh, he's at the full camp. He's also, I think, very dangerous. Um, that variety of strikes is is pretty nice. Um, he throws on that good pace, good pressure that he's going to throw on Angelusa. Um, I do like Angelusa, um, but I just don't like him in this spot. I'm actually pretty high on Lazuez as well. Um, I think he just kind of got a bit unlucky, maybe, again, in the Juarez fight. Um, but... But, but yeah, I'm high on him. He shows really good striking, um, a good chin, a little bit of well-roundedness in terms of being able to get the takedown and wrestle and having good top control. So I, I think he will have success here in this fight for sure against Angelusa. He's just going to have to pressure him a lot and keep Angelusa on the back foot. He's going to have a slight reach advantage too, um, so that should help him as well. Uh, so yeah, that is it. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. It would help me out a ton. Also, um, let me know down in the comments who you have for this fight and why. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, it's always good for the MMA community to kind of um, come together collectively and uh, give their thoughts on these fights. Um, you know, I love hearing others' opinions on the fights because it just really... Um, opens my mind to other areas that I may not be thinking of necessarily. Um, so yeah, uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, again, I'll have two more videos coming out later this week. Best Bets, Parlay Plays. They uh, dive a little bit into the books, if you will, and I uh, have official plays in straight bets and parlays that I will be um, playing for this card. So look out for those. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, yeah, take it easy.